New Balance is a sportswear company that is making plenty of notable moves in the sneaker industry, making quality products and gaining popularity among younger audiences with their new shoes. But their company is also notably vocal about making commitments to sustainability and a more eco-friendly future. This can be reflected in none other than the architecture of their New Balance World Headquarters building, which was certified LEED Platinum in the year 2016 for its achievement of all indoor environmental quality credits making it the only project in America and the third building in the world to accomplish this feat. New Balance's headquarters saves energy due to the way their building's HVAC system is built compared to typical buildings. But what is a HVAC system, and why is New Balance's one so different? Put simply, a HVAC system, short for heating, ventilation, and air conditioning, is the equipment and processes that ensure the continuous heating, ventilating, and cooling of a building. This is important for a number of reasons. Firstly, they regulate the building climate to ensure that the occupants inside are always comfortable, raising the interior temperature during colder months and cooling the interior during warmer seasons. In a seasonal country like the United States, this ensures that thermal comfort is always achieved. This results in enhanced productivity in offices due to achieving thermal comfort, as well as New Balance's employees being able to carry out their duties comfortably at their maximum potential, leading to better job results. Air quality inside is also significantly improved and regulated, allowing occupants to breathe comfortably without inhaling any harmful substances. Adequate ventilation also reduces indoor humidity so it's not too stuffy, adding to a comfortable environment for New Balance workers. Finally, HVAC systems help reduce energy costs. HVAC systems are allowed to regulate the interior building conditions based on climatic situations and can be set to automatic schedules, meaning less energy can be used to maintain the building overall. The process of the HVAC system is designed to move air. Its main goal is to move warm air either into or out of spaces. This way, the HVAC system is designed to heat or cool a living space. The heating process of a HVAC system is a multi-step process that begins when the thermostat senses the temperature in the building through sensors and calls for heat. Then the electric furnace's heating coils will begin to get hot. The furnace's blower motor will turn on to begin moving the heated air throughout the building. The HVAC system cooling process is similarly complex but works differently. The cooling process is designed to change the state of the refrigerant at the right time to absorb and expel heat and humidity. It starts with the condensing coil, also known as condenser, inside the building, which absorbs the heat and transfers it into the system. The evaporator coil in the outdoor unit then expels it into the atmosphere. During all of this, an expansion valve also known as metering device, regulates the amount of refrigerant that's needed so that you maintain the correct temperature. These are the components of a HVAC system. The chiller, also known as an air conditioner, is used for cooling. The air handler manages airflow. Inside them, the fan types that may be found are either axial or centrifugal. Air filters, these are used to keep the air clean and ideally allows for free airflow that doesn't hinder the system. Ductwork, they carry the air to the central blower fan and back to it to filter and recycle it. Terminal unit, this is a device that uses an automated damper to control the amount of air which is delivered to a region. It's controlled by a digital actuator, which is regulated by a thermostat. Heating coils are installed after a terminal unit to provide heat on a zone-by-zone -zone basis. Linings or attenuators, these are used to dampen noise within a duct. Air from the ductwork enters the spaces through grills, registers or diffusers, in New Balance's World Headquarters, they have implemented several features in the HVAC system to ensure a green, energy-saving environment. They have utilized a hybrid system to ensure maximum thermal comfort is achieved. 
Firstly, the headquarters make use of a chill beam system to regulate the interior. How this works is through the installation of water pipes around beams exposed or suspended in the ceiling. The beam will cool the air around it, causing it to fall to the ground. This causes less dense hot air to rise upwards, creating a convection effect which cools the interior of the headquarters, which removes excess heat in the rooms and provides greater thermal comfort. This system can be both passive, utilizing natural phenomena like convection, or active by using fast-moving ventilated air entering to induce circulation of air out of the unit. The beam can also be used to radiate heat outwards during cooler months of the season. Another system integrated into New Balance's headquarters is the Fint Tube Radiator. These also act similarly to chilled beams as a heat exchanger via convection in the offices. Hot water or steam flows through pipes in these radiators, typically up to temperatures of 90 degrees Celsius. The pipe material is made of a metal with high thermal conductivity, such as copper or aluminium. The heat radiates out from the pipes via fins built around them, increasing the surface area of heat transfer and encouraging heat to spread faster. In the headquarters, wellers heat up the water and send either the hot water or high-pressure steam through the piping systems installed throughout the building. The water or steam reaches the radiators, releasing heat through the pipes and fins. Afterwards, the fluid which passes through has a lower temperature and so is circulated back to the boiler to be reheated again. Across each floor, the pipes are arranged in parallel systems to reduce heat loss through the piping and increase heating efficiency. The radiators can be arranged in series in rooms and offices to allow for easy maintenance and efficient heat. The building also makes use of an underflow air distribution system to provide cooling to the building's interior, compared to most buildings which typically use ceiling air conditioning systems. The floor is raised slightly above the headquarters structural concrete floor slabs in this system as air supply outlets are installed underneath. This essentially provides air conditioning into the room from the floor, or less commonly through ducts installed in partitions or built-in furniture. As the cool air reaches people easier compared to via the ceiling, increased thermal comfort is achieved. Air quality is better regulated and improved and overall, less energy is used. These HVAC systems can also be built into the raised floor along with all major electrical cabling, which makes for easier access during maintenance and allowing for more flexibility and reduced costs when the building services need to be rearranged or changed. Individual employees are also able to adjust the temperature in their respective work areas while maintaining efficiency. New Balance's headquarters utilize all three of these strategies in a hybrid system, the chilled beams enabling cooling during summer and the fin tube radiators heating up during the fall and winter seasons the UFAD system also provides more direct and effective cooling and frees up overhead space. This significantly reduces usage of fan operations, allowing the company to save on energy costs and reducing consumption of electrical resources significantly. As much as a lot of thought was put into the HVAC systems, New Balance would not be able to achieve an optimum indoor environment without considering the building facade and envelope as well. On the south side of the facade, horizontal louvers are installed at ceiling level by each floor's windows, acting as shading devices from direct sunlight and reducing heat convection due to the oil glass face. The east and west facades also have large vertical mullion cups creating a recessed window system to provide sufficient protection from the rising and setting sun. The lower retail spaces and parking garage are capped with large hilly green roof parks to provide green space for the occupant's enjoyment and also to mitigate storm water. Rain gardens and walkways with porous paving are built near the streets surrounding the building to collect and treat street runoff and automotive chemicals filtering out pollutants as water moves back into the ground.
The building's interior is also painted with low volatile organic compound paints that do not deplete the ozone layer compared to normal paints. And that's not all. New Balance has taken additional minor steps to ensure that they are making significant moves to be a sustainable company. 70% of energy used in the construction of their headquarters was offset by Green E certified off-site renewable energy sources. 28% of their construction material was derived from recycled content, and 20% of the construction material is locally sourced. All the wood used in the building's construction is certified by the Global Forest Stewardship Council. All of New Balance's efforts have paid off as the building has achieved 35% less water usage compared to other code-compliant buildings, and the facility has a 30% higher ventilation rate than other buildings too. The headquarters use 26% less energy than other buildings of similar typology. Occupants of the building have also reported improved comfort and well-being, and the rate of absenteeism among employees is low at the headquarters. All of this fits in New Balance's continued efforts to give back to their community, and their dedication to creating the best indoor environment possible ties back to their corporate identity of sports and performance. There is plenty of potential for these integrated systems to be incorporated into our local Malaysian architecture too. Underfloor air distribution could be used to regulate the air better compared to current air conditioning units and allow for easier maintenance and restructuring during an interior overhaul. Currently, there are two known chilled beam systems installed in Malaysia, one of them in Manipal University, which is able to provide satisfactory levels of thermal comfort to its occupants. Such systems integrated together with typical passive design strategies derived from our country's vernacular architecture could help push Malaysia towards a greener, more sustainable future. However, the local industry's understanding of and experience of such systems is an exception rather than the norm. Research data on the cost comparison and energy savings of these technologies is scant, and further study is an absolute necessity. A mass adoption in our country will not happen overnight, but initiatives such as pressuring local government to add policies that benefit companies who build net zero buildings and funding local research and development of green technologies would certainly help us in the right direction. Maybe one day, our local buildings will follow New Balance's footsteps and contribute to turning the trend of net zero buildings into a standard. Thank you for watching.